Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. We're back with some more Yoshi's Island. We are going to finish World 3 today with some monkey's favorite lake. Do you have a favorite lake, guys? Do you have a favorite summer activity that you like to pursue with your family or maybe by yourself? Whatever you're into. These shy guys that are on stilts are very adorable. Whoa, excuse you. I thought this was supposed to be pink Yoshi, but apparently we got red Yoshi unless I'm just colorblind. But then again, that is not what being colorblind means, so... Which I think is kind of funny. There's always that trope that some people have when, like, if you can't discern something, or if you think that some color is slightly off... If I could... <laughs> excuse me, can I go forward, please? If you think that some color is slightly off compared to what they think that it is... Oh my gosh, come on! They're like, oh man, are you colorblind? But that's not really what colorblindness is. And there's a bunch of different... Oops. <laughs> I like that the uh, little monkeys are just kind of like gently keeping Mario afloat. But he's in a bubble. He should be fine. He's buoyant. He's a buoyant baby. But yeah, there's a bunch of different kinds of colorblindness that I don't know what they are off the top of my head. I know that the most common that people think of is red-green colorblind. That's kind of the, the big one where people have trouble discerning those, but I know that there are some games out there which developers are putting more different options for kind of colorblindness checks in there to help you if you do have to deal with that, which I think is really kind and inclusive and a good step in the right direction. So, let's... Ooh. Oh, he just straight up, he straight up ganked Mario. Ooh, look at his crab. Look at this dancing crab. He's just going crazy. Oh my gosh, I totally avoided that. All right, so this must be the proverbial water level of Super Mario Yoshi's Island. Ooh, there's eggs up here. I'm gonna grab these. I don't know if I'm actually getting them or not. Looks like I got a couple. Nice, I'm gonna go ahead and Stop you from creating more havoc. Get away from me. Okay. I don't know. What are you trying to tell me right here? How you feel about that, Mr. Crab? Huh? Is that all? Uh, am I doing anything to you? Ooh, yeah. Gotcha, boy. So hopefully everybody's doing well. Hopefully everybody's... Everybody is having a good summer. I know that I mentioned in a previous episode of something that... Summertime is something that happens starting in July, it does not. Summertime, the summer solstice, at least, begins on June 21st or 22nd. I don't know if that changes based on the year, but that's what it is. I said incorrectly that it was in July. Oops. So we're actually past the longest day of the year. Days are going to start getting shorter. What are we going to do? It is crazy, though, when I think about... How... What, what? what is happening? Oh. It's crazy when I think about how, at least in my area, that the days are long enough that it doesn't start to really get dark until like 8.30. Or for those of you who live in a world where you use the 24-hour clock, uh, 21 p.m. or 10 or... 20, 23rd, okay. You know what I mean. Y'all know what I'm saying. Oops. Oops. But yeah, it's just wild to think about. You can go to work and have daylight when you start and daylight when you leave. Now, interestingly, at least in the United States, I don't know how this kind of... Oh, what, what are you? You're very gooey looking. Can I not do anything to you? How do I... Oh. Are you invincible? Are you? Oh, come on. At least in the United States, back to my train of thought. Choo choo. The, um, I would love to get past you. I don't know what I'm doing. How do I? There we go. Man, that was like the final boss. My goodness. And there's another one. But yeah. We have what's known as daylight saving time, which is mispronounced as daylight savings time. It is not savings, it is saving. Fun fact for all of you. Don't ever pronounce it wrong in my presence or I will probably gently correct you and move on. But yeah, so daylight saving time, I think was meant historically to be, ooh, that was neat. 
a thing that um, helped out farmers to give them extra time when they were trying to harvest crops. It would give them more daylight to work with. So I think that's kind of the intent, but we don't really have as much of a problem with agriculture in that way anymore. We've kind of advanced the sciences of what happens with food makings. I mean, I'm sure, oh, come on. This kind of reminds me, oh. Oh, he just straight up murdered me. He took me down to the watery depths. What a rude guy. Good thing I got that middle ring. But yeah, so we don't really have the same kind of standards. You know, it's not, oh, uh, you know, you're up when the sun's up, you're, you go to sleep when the sun's down kind of thing. I mean, you can still do that if you want, but it's not like a thing that you have to do because we have this thing called electricity. And uh, it kind of lets us do stuff whenever we want. Like take that higher powers you're not telling us what to do so we got that going for us and as such it's not really a thing that we need daylight saving anymore so oh no oh no this is really ugh, really unfortunate ugh. it's astounding to me still how for the longest time the biggest reason why i refused to play this game was just because of how annoyed i was by how loud the baby Mario sound was. That's literally it. Oh. Why? Okay, anyway. So we're getting rid of it. And I think, like, officially, the U.S. government, where I live, the good old U.S. and A. Nice bonus. Perfect. First try. Is abolishing it permanently. Like, we're just straight up not doing it anymore. Nice, 100%. Great. So I think that starts in like a year or two, which is going to be really interesting to see how that kind of changes the kind of sleep cycles. The Naval Piranha Castle. Are we going to touch his navel? Ew. So I've heard that the during two different times of the year, we have these... Ooh, how do I... Do I just have to slap you right in the mouth? Oh, it's adorable. Oh, I love it, sort of. Oh, look at his little face! He was like, oh, I'm so sad. Uh, okay. Well, I can already tell this is gonna be weird. Apparently, there's science out there, science, that concludes that changing the clocks back forward and ahead at multiple times of the year is actually really bad on the body. It can cause detrimental effects that can affect sleep, which in turn kind of alters all kinds of things like it can impact your body for depression and anxiety and all kinds of nasty things. So I guess this is the attempt for modern science to be like, you know what? Not really farming like that anymore, so maybe we don't need it. Which is kind of a step in the right direction. It really, I mean, I feel like I'm a decently healthy person, pretty young, and it still messes me up, so I can't imagine what it's got to oh boy i can't imagine what it's got to be like to be older and like and i mean i'm starting to feel this like the changes where it might not have affected me in a big way when i was younger now i'm getting old and so i i do feel those changes what do you have to say to me try to throw an egg at the arrow and hello you can get the coins plate okay so is this just target practice great needed that so they're changing, they're getting rid of it, which I think is really neat. And, uh, you know, some people, you know, back in the day, you'd have to change the time on your VCR. Do we know what those are, viewers? VCR? But that is no more, that's a thing of the past. And, uh, oh, I gotta throw two eggs? What is the point of this? Just that? Just, okay. At least they tell you what to do, because I couldn't have figured that out on my own. I say that as a joke, but I probably couldn't have. Um, so yeah, daylight saving, a thing of the past. We'll just do the same time every year. And it's going to be great. Okay. Not your best work, Nintendo. You got to work on your, on, your, on your poems. I'm not sure what type of poem that is. I know that there's other kinds. Things like limericks and uh, haikus and uh, poems. 
So that's the three types that I think are basically all that's out there, as far as I'm concerned. How about you, how about you quit? Oh, we, oh, whoa, you, we spit garbage at me for? <laughs> They're like little ball, like little lemon heads, that's what I, that's what I think those look like. Not chosen lemon heads on my dad's boat. Okay, so we're gonna keep going. I don't really care for these levels where it's like, uh, I don't, okay. These levels where it's kind of like a labyrinth. I'm not really a huge fan of these. They just take forever. Can you spit, please? I just want to take you out. Do, 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 do. Okay, great. I don't know why I even care about this. Oh my gosh. Oh. I can't. Okay, well, there's that. Mario. Oh no. Oh, in the nick of time. No, no. Oh. Well, that's some poopy garbage. What, we got a middle ring? What? Where? Oh, nice. <laughs> I didn't even know that happened. I thought I was going right back to the beginning. Whoa! Okay, well, this guy's helping us out, actually, spitting out some Shy Guys, which I always call something different. I've noticed in some episodes, I refer to them as kind of a different enemy every time. Well, I like that sound. Sounds like somebody's, like... Kind of putting their butt on a keyboard. Oh, what? You know what? You know, you know what? I would like to speak to your manager. Oh, stop it. Quit. I don't have time for this. I gotta deal with this ding dong coming at me. I have to deal with you spitting at me. You know what? Is there, give one more level of, okay. Should go back to that, oh. This level is all kinds of a mess. Something that I've learned as I've played further and further into this game, which once again I have no muscle memory for because I've never played it prior to this Let's Play, is uh, it's a pain in the bun sometimes, you know? These, these later levels are kind of tricky. They are not playing around. All right, so I think this is just supposed to be a level where we kind of do a little bit of target practice. I don't know if I necessarily care for it. I don't know if I care for your kind level. All right. So let's figure this out. Probably the same way as I did the last one. Boop! Oh, these multi-hit prana plants. Kind of grinding my gears now. Not about it. There we go. The sound effect when they die is very satisfying. That's exactly what they sounded like. Funny enough, it was only a wee, a wee lad when this game came out. But uh, they actually co-opted me to do the, the uh, sound effect for that. So that was actually me, in case you're wondering. Pretty incredible. I never realized that like sound effect voice acting was gonna be something that I would do for a living, but it's just kind of, it just kind of makes sense, you know? All right. Okay. I did not do very good at that. Nice. Sweet. Spit your sweet goo at me. Quite a bit. All right, I think I see the boss door with my one egg. This this doesn't seem ideal. And I cannot go back. When you run past the door, it makes the weird the weird opening sound, but I didn't open it yet. All right, so one egg. What could possibly go wrong? Here we go into the sewers of Poo Poo Waterland. This sewer seems awfully clean. I have a feeling that I'm going to not really enjoy whatever I'm about to do. Okay, we are locked in. Just a regular prana plant, of course, but Kamek has something for us. You cutie without a What? Who says that? Does Yoshi not have a belly button? Or maybe he's referring to a water-based military arm? Okay, so this is probably gonna be horrible. Ooh. Obligatory piranha boss? Mm. Ooh, seems kind of ominous. Oh, I gotta hit, do I gotta hit him on his, on his belly button? Is that the hint? Well, I can't move yet. Okay, I can move now. Okay. Well, that's the uh, only egg I had. So hopefully I get a chance to acquire more. I don't, oh, I have to let these things hit the ground and sprout or else it's not gonna. They don't turn into 
eggable things. Whoop! Alright, so I think I do have to... Oh, I think I see it. Ooh. Oh, he's faking me out? Oh, he's faking me out. All right, show me your belly. Yes, that's why they spent all that time. Yeah, there it is. They spent all that time throughout the level telling you that you could do this. Okay. I don't think it's intended for you to do much with it beyond... Oop. With that, and like, you can't attack him when he's trying to headbutt you. I don't have any more eggs, so if you could go ahead and make more of those... Give me your little, uh, little dandelion things. That'd be sweet. Come on. Come on, Piranha. I ain't got time for this. This boss fight is going to take, like, 90% of the level at this rate if you do not hurry it up. You're obliged to give me things to kill you. That's part of how this contract negotiation works. Oh, boy. Whoop. Nope, don't you do it. No! Straight up killed himself. Not cool. All right. Okay. So I guess we just gotta be careful with this one. We don't really get a ton of opportunity to... to hit him. And I don't know if that's the only way to hit him, but it seems like the best way to hit him, so... And I mean, I'm trying to got him, but... Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm on to you, bud. Alright, here we go, come on. Give me the goo. Yes! Shoot your sweet... Dandelion goo at me. I'm not entirely sure. Are those supposed to be like little mushrooms? Alright, I'm gonna get all three. Having three shots is somehow better than two shots, I think, based on my math. I'm not a math magician, but... Oh, is that it? Really? That's it? Oh. I guess I was expecting more. <laughs> the key! Guys, we did it! Alright! Great work, everybody. As per usual, let's get on out of here. Let's see how we did. 100%. Bravo. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. So that's it for today. Next time, we'll take on the bonus level of World 3. And if that doesn't take too long, then we'll probably jump into World 4. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sunday's Yoshi's Island. And I'll see you next time. Bye.